In this video, I want to show you the powers of the mind. Picture this. A man walks into a mystical forest. Beautiful place. Paradise. You can call it Paradise Forest. All right? After walking for some time, after admiring all the amazing scenery, enjoying the fresh air, he comes across a tree upon which he decides to sit himself down and rest upon these roots. He starts to realize that he's hungry because his stomach's growling. At that point of time, he starts to conceive images of his favorite food and start thinking to himself, in this wonderful environment, how nice would it be if I could have this, 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 this. And miraculously, all those favorite foods of his that he conceived in his mind appeared. How awesome, isn't it? After he had his fill, he began to feel thirsty. And he was wondering, again, in such a wonderful environment, how great would it be if I could have these favorite drinks of mine? Once again, these drinks appeared in front of him. So far, very good, right? As night fell, he began to wonder, it's been such a good day in this wonderful place, but because I don't usually sleep in the woods, are there any ghosts around? Are there any ghosts here? And if you're wondering what actually happened, you guessed it. Ghosts appeared and surrounded him. He then thought, what if there were also monsters? Would they kill me? You guessed it. Monsters appeared and he died. In ancient folklore, there is a wishing tree. It's called the Kalpavriksha. Kalpavriksha. And the tree he was under is the Kalpavriksha. But a point I want to illustrate here is something else. If he had Aladdin's lamp, if he had the ability to command everything of imagination into existence, if he had used everything productively to create the most meaningful things, what could possibly have happened instead? He could have created a whole new world, just as God the Creator manifested the world in seven days. Isn't it amazing how God had such pure and complete intents that could only create consistent lines of goodness and difference. For example, the mountains, the waves, the atmosphere, different climates around the world, the biodiversity of organisms, microorganisms, living things. Isn't that amazing? That everything could coexist in its own way. I invite everyone watching this video to constructively use your thoughts. This story may seem a little bit far-fetched, but then again, if we think about all the things that we have in this world today, didn't everything come out of someone's imagination? I encourage everyone to use your thought constructively and positively change and design the life that you live. Thank you.